I post on the SEAT IBIFA forum. This is a great place to find out more information and fixes for your IBIFA and other SEATs. OK, so here's the problem. You push down for your rear wash wipe, and although you can hear the motor working, no water actually comes out on the back screen. This normally occurs after a particularly bad cold spell. So what's gone wrong? Well to understand we need to look at the exploded diagram. As you can see, you have a pump that's actually in above the water reservoir, then a long pipe that runs all the way to the back of your car to where the actual motor is and the rear wash. Now the most likely thing that's happened that during the cold spell the water in the pipe has frozen and it has popped one of the joints along the way. It's a common problem that affects nearly every IB through at some point in its life. And there are three common places where this pipe detaches and one not so. So the first thing you need to do is to establish where the water is actually going. And thankfully this is pretty easy to do. If you have a right hand drive car you need to look around the passenger wheel. What you're looking for is a large puddle of water. It should be really easy to spot. The next place you want to check is the boot area. When you first open a tailgate listen for any sloshing noise of water actually in the tailgate itself and have a feel around this area around the lock to see if there's actually any water dripping out. Yours will have a little cover plate here that's missing on my car. But see if you can sort of feel any dampness or any water indicating that there's actually water trapped in this area. Once you've looked at that, go down into the boot itself and on the right hand side start feeling around all this carpet area. You're looking for any real sort of signs of damp in this area and you need to pull back the boot bottom here to see if there's any actual water trapped in the spare wheel compartment. So moving back to the front of the car now, we'll look at the most likely causes. If you have water round by the front wheel, then it's most likely that the actual pipe has popped off underneath the air box where your air filter goes, which is just this area of the car. Now this area is very tight, especially if you have the 1.9 diesel unit like my car. But if we carefully look down the side here, what you're looking at is the little, do you see that black pipe with the little kind of white collar? Yeah, I know it's not easy to see. Well that's the actual root of the pipe and that's where it's most likely to have popped off. I'll get my laser in here just to sort of show you. This area here, what you are looking for is any break in this connection and any water that may be around here. Now trying to reattach this pipe with the airbox in the car is very tricky. And I found a picture here where someone has actually removed it for us. And you can see the end of the pipe here and then the other arrow where it should actually be connected. So it's quite straightforward, you just put it back, but I'd recommend that you use at least some kind of a glue, or if not, perhaps some small Jubilee clips to make it more secure. Okay, going back to the boot area again. Now, if you had water dripping out of the tailgate, you're going to have to remove the plastic tailgate cover. I covered this procedure in one of my other videos, and a link should pop up about now, so you need to go and watch that first. Once you've carefully removed the cover, what you want to look for is the actual motor of the rear wash wipe and coming out of the centre you'll see a black pipe so you just need to push this back on but once again apply a little super glue or maybe a small jubilee clip to keep it in place okay so if you actually found water in the right hand side of your boot then it's a little bit more tricky because unfortunately you're going to have to remove a little bit of trim now you can use a screwdriver for this but I actually found one of these little pry bars are really good at actually getting the plastic trim off without breaking it. Okay, to start, push down the rear seats and remove the parcel shelf. Underneath the parcel shelf, you'll see a screw in the middle of the actual side section. You need to remove that. There's also another screw just below the seat belt, and that needs to come out also. Now, to get to the final screw, you need to pry out a small L shaped piece of plastic actually around the boot lip. To remove this you're also going to have to pry up the actual boot lip protector. Once you remove the L shaped piece of plastic that gives you access to the final screw. Then you have to carefully pry back the rubber to actually release the far section. Once that's released the actual panel should slide forward but be very careful because you've got these small little clips that are shown here and they do snap rather easy so take your time with this bit. This panel won't come out because of the seat belt so just slide it forward out of the way. So with this panel out of the way, you should be able to look in and locate the water pipe. 
when you actually put it back together just remember to use a little bit of glue or perhaps a little jubilee clip and that's it really your job's done you just need to be really careful when you're putting back the panels and also don't forget to actually push the rubber seal back over the plastic panels again and that's the three main areas where these pipes normally pop however if you're still losing fluid at the front of the car it may be that the actual motor itself has actually popped out of the reservoir now unfortunately that's buried right deep into the wing and the only way you can get at that is to jack the car up and actually move, remove the plastic in a wind liner I did cover this procedure in another video and I'll put a pop up now so you need to go and have a look at that I think you can probably see clearer back on that exploded diagram so if we look at this diagram in more detail you'll see that number 13 is the motor itself and that just sits directly into the actual water reservoir and number 9 is the small little L shaped connector and that's most likely where your pipe would have popped off so hopefully that's cured the problem now to prevent these pipes from freezing and popping off I would recommend that you run your car with a very high concentrated screen wash probably around 50-50 in the coldest part of the winter that's what I've done since I've had a trouble with mine and it's been fine since so that's really about it check out some of my other videos which I've got some other IB for tips and fixes and I'll put a link down in the description to the IB for forum for this particular fix but other than that I'd like to say cheers for watching and I'll catch you next time